Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to show and explain you how you can find the right SAP table in SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. I will explain and show you different tools or transactions in order to find the right table. So enjoy this video and let's get started. Tables are really important in SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA because they are the information are stored and every SAP table is maintained in the ABAP dictionary. You can open up the ABAP dictionary if you call the transaction code SE11 in the command field, hit the enter key and then you have opened up the ABAP dictionary. And within here you have the option database table. And basically here you can type in manually a table or what we would like to do is we would like to find a table with an SAP system. And to do this, you can use the F4 help or the search help. And within here, you can click on this button or use the F4 key on your keyboard. And then this, yeah, this pop-up for the repository info system will open up to find tables within the system. Here you have the ability to do a wildcard search. So basically you can type in different letters. So for example, EK and then asterisk or the plus sign. The plus sign and if you're using asterisk then basically you're searching for yeah various characters for multiple characters if you're using the plus sign then you are searching just specifically for one character and but a various character and for example with this search you are searching for a table name containing of three letters starting with ek and then yeah uh, various letter or if you're using with the asterisk then you are searching for table starting with ek and then multiple various characters if you want to, you can also use the short description because within here you are using the table text. So for example, if you would like to search for a table containing information about the purchasing document, then you are just typing purchasing document using the asterisk um, and then hit the execute button or the enter key on your keyboard. If you want to, you can also uh, you, uh, limit the search based on the package, on the application component or on the maximum number of hits and then within here you can see the results so a list of all the tables containing the search term in this case purchasing document and with a double click then um, yeah, the ID of the table will be taken over and will be put into this uh, field database table and yeah basically here with the display button there you can yeah, um, analyze the table analyze the components attributes and so on what you like to and as we saw within the repository info system itself so with the transaction code se84 you have the same functionality so within the node or folder ABAP dictionary and then database tables here you can also do exactly the same so you can type in purchasing document with an asterisk and then execute the search and then you will see also the result and with double click with the forward navigation you will also end up in the ABAP dictionary and see the detailed information and Another possibility is to open up data browser with a text code SE16, SE16N or SE16H. In my case, I'm uh, using SE16N. Within here, you have also with the for help um, the ability to use the information system and use exactly the same search information. Then the next great transaction code I would like to show you is the SE16T transaction code. Uh, if we execute this transaction code, then you will open up the central access for search functions. And I highly recommend this transaction code or this transaction because basically there you have the ability to find objects within the SAP system. So within here, basically you can create different application areas, 
to yeah to to um to to create different search functions but basically here in standard there are already um some search functions available for example the find tables and if you click on this execute function button then on the right side there you have the ability to find tables regarding a search term so once again with purchasing document then hit the enter key you will see all the tables uh, containing uh, purchasing document within the short description um, within here you can also do a search uh, left aligned based on the table name uh, you can do an exact search based on the table name you can search for all languages you can search for the table fields because uh, standard you will search in the table text uh, if you want to get more uh, information you can also click on this uh, help icon then you will see a nice uh, yeah, description about the functionality about the different uh, buttons itself really helpful or if you want to, you can also see the selection criteria so what is uh, yeah being being used in this case how the select is being used uh, or if you want you can also uh, use other functionality so for example where use list for table a search table maintenance table definition and so on and yeah for example if we once again click on the on the echo a table containing the header information about the purchasing document and then you will once again uh, yeah, jump into the SC16 and the data browser um, to select the data itself um, with the F3 key you can jump back um, yeah really helpful um, and great to use we can see also um, a jump to the data browse to the SE16N to the SE16H. I've already shown you the SE16N uh, with the SE16H also a really great transaction because within here especially for HANA database you can uh, also define auto join definitions uh, really really great transaction but what I'd like to show you are the transactions SE16S and SE16SL. Let's have a look at the SE16S. If we execute this with this uh, button or also, uh, of course, executable with the transaction code SE16S within a command field within here, you have the ability to, yeah, to, to do a generic table and value search. Um, yeah, but just, uh, um, to describe you it kind of quickly within here you can um, enter a search string that you would like to search so for example in my case for uh, the user uh, for the SAP user and then for example ad hoc scan because within here I would like to yeah, search for this user in a table um, containing the string purchasing <coughs> And then if we, uh, yeah, we have some other options, but if we execute this search, then different tables regarding the um, search area, um, regarding the string will be um, searched. And within here, for example, we can once again see uh, different tables um, uh, where the search term is there in, in the value in the database itself. So for example, within the echo, when I click on number of hits, then within here i can see the uh, entries found and here we can see that basically i have six purchasing document created by this sap user um, within the data browser so this is uh, kind of like helpful <coughs> And the other tables are shown because um, yeah, they are containing the string purchasing in the table text. Uh, but of course, but uh, the name, the search string itself, Andreas G is not in as an value, as an information in the database table. So yeah, a lot of functionalities. Um, I think uh, I could produce a known video about the SE16S, a uh, really great uh, transaction regarding search functions. If we're going back and if we execute the SE16SL, then we will find this. Uh, with this button, you can also get further uh, information 
uh, but basically here you have to enter your purpose of search, so for example ERP app, and then the field description, so in this case ERNAM, it's the, the data um, element of, uh, of the table I would like to search, and within this um, data element I would like once again to search for this SAP user, and then I execute the search, and now we can see a similar result as we saw on the SE16S. And within here, you can also see, um, yeah, basically, um, if we're going once again to the Echo, and if we click on this eye icon, then we jump to the SE16H. Uh, basically, here we can see the number of entries uh, for this user. We, you can you can do a, a drill down for the rows. Uh, what would you like for the list as well? Um, but what is really, really great within here, if we click on this entry, then we see uh, that just this field has been selected, and once again, our six entries within the data browser. Um, yeah, this is also a, a great search function to yeah to to do a field-based generic tables and value search. Also, uh, really, really uh, recommended. If we, for example, open up the FBL1 entrance section, and within here you have the ability yeah, to display the vendor line items, and within here you have a, an input field for the vendor account. And you can also get the table for one specific input field if you're using the F1 key on your keyboard. So you have to set the focus on this input field, then press the F1 key on your keyboard, then this pop-up regarding the performance assistant will open up and within here, within this button in the toolbar, you can open up the technical information. And within here, you can see the table name that is being used for uh, for this input field for this vendor account. And with the forward navigation, with double click, you can also jump to the ABAP dictionary, so the SE11, and analyze this database table in more detail. But of course, you get the table name itself. But if we, for example, jump to another transaction, so it's the ME23N, it's basically a transaction code to display purchase orders. And if you, for example, uh, open up the delivery tab and, for example, goods received, hit the F1 key once again, the technical information. And then within here, uh, if, we, if we jump uh, to the data element WEPOS, uh, to this table name, we double click, then we can see that in this case, not a table is being used, a structure is being used. Um, so for this case, uh, you have to do a little trick. You have to, to work with the where use list. So you have to go to the component type, to, to the data element, and then within here you can use the where use list. Or of course you could also open up the app dictionary SE11, type in the WEPOS. And then within here you have to select table fields then execute it, and within here you see all the tables that use the field. And for example, here we see the, the ECPO. The ECPO uses the WEPOs. And with double click, you can also jump once again to the table, to the ECPO, and see that in here it's being used. If you want to, you can also do exactly the same once again in the repository info system. So open up the SE84 and then you have to open up ABAP dictionary and then fields and then table fields and within the input field field name there you can also type in WEPOS, hit the F8 key and then you see exactly the same result as we saw earlier. And then if you're scrolling down, then you can also see uh, the ECPO down here. And if we open up the data browser once again with the transaction code SE16 
n, there is one very important database table, and it's a DD02L. And yet, yeah, you should definitely be aware and keep in mind this SAP table because this SAP table basically contains information about all the SAP tables. So, for example, if we execute this search, then here you can see all the tables within the SAP system. I've already produced uh, an own video about this uh, this table, about all the SAP tables, how to get an overview and stuff like that. So I will link you this video. And within here, you have also the ability, based on the selection criteria, to search for different SAP tables. And for example, you can open up the DD02T table that's a table containing uh, the sap table text so with it, this basically you can search for the short description for example or if you want you can also open up dd03l it's a table containing uh, table fields itself so that also is really important. Yeah, and basically, um, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions left, put them in the comment section. And please subscribe to this YouTube channel to never miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.